By the time the Cats got to Cal's house, the worst kept secret that they were a number one seed was out. Cal sits with Cousins and his team and puts his new Refuse to Lose t-shirt on. They wait to find out who and where they're playing. After the reaction of being on national TV is over, there is almost no reaction to playing East Tennessee State. It's the next bump in the road. You know uh, anything about who you're playing yet? East Tennessee State, no. I know Murray real well. I know his, coach, uh, his father, Coach Bartow, who I probably talk to once every two weeks. Um, he was with the Memphis Grizzlies when I was in town. And so, uh, and he just does a great job. I mean, you know his teams are going to be well coached. They'll come in, probably play a zone. See if we're making shots like everybody else and go from there. You want a piece of candy, you finally get it. It's like you finally get a chance to play an NCAA tournament and try to leave a statement in. We're outside of Cal's house where a bunch of fans are saying, hey, we want to say hi to the cats who just left. And Cal said didn't happen once or twice, but three times. The cats just were involved with three fist fights, and they have another one on Thursday. Be smart. Take care of yourself. It's big. You've got to recharge your batteries. So Wall used one of the great four-letter words for any tired team, rest. You know, it's basically just not trying to not trying to answer your phone, not trying to go out and hang out and just get rest because, you know, this is the biggest part of the March tournament. It's going to start on Thursday, so we just need to get our rest. Alan Cutler, LEX 18 Sports.